Good day, everyone. So for today, our topic is learning theories or behaviorist theories. We let's start our discussion on learning theories by B. F. Skinner. Learning theories, uh, tawag din natin sa kanila ay ang the behaviorist approach or tinatawag din natin dito ay behaviorism. No? Another word for this is behavioral psychology. This is a theory of learning which states all behaviors are learned through interaction with the environment through a process called conditioning. Okay? So tayo daw ay nagkakaroon ng learning where learning takes place if there is an interaction with our environment at ang tawag dun sa interaction na naman ay conditioning. Thus, behavior is simply a response to environmental stimuli. Okay, so lahat daw tayo ay natuto kung ano man ang alam natin ngayon because of our environment. Okay, and... Uh, we have behavior simply dahil nagre-respond lang tayo sa ating kapag kapaligiran. Okay? So nagre-respond tayo sa ating environment. So that is behaviorist approach. Okay, ano yung behaviorist perspective? According to this perspective is a theory of psychology that states that human behaviors are learned and not in it. Na? The behaviorist approach asserts that personality traits are the result uh, of a person's environment and the cultural forces that shape it. Basic premises, okay? Behavior is learned from the environment. And of course, if that's the case, no? so our we are born with a tabula rasa mind, no? or a blank state. Nung pinanganak daw tayo, blanko yung ating mind. Okay? So, tabula rasa. Psychology should be seen as a science sa, sa behaviorism. Behaviorism is primarily concerned with observable behavior. Concerned siya sa mga activities ng tao which are observable. And behavior is the result of stimulus response. Okay, and sabi nga kanina, we are just responding to stimuli or stimulus in the environment. Sino-sino ba yung mga sikat na behaviorist? Of course, we have John B. Watson. John B. Watson was an early 20th century psychologist who established the psychological field of behaviorism. And then we also have Ivan Pavlov, Borhaus, Frederick Skinner, and Edward Lee Thorndike. And also we have E.C. Tolman, C. Al Hall, and E.R. Godfrey. For today, but for today, we'll be discussing about Borhaus, Frederick Skinner. Sino ba si Borhaus, Frederick Skinner? No? So pinanganak siya noong 1904 at na nawala siya sa mundo no 1990 so he was an american psychologist and he developed the skinner box or the operant conditioning chamber no papakita ko sa inyo mamaya yung skinner box and sabi nga nila he is the father of operant conditioning ano ba yung operant conditioning okay the theory of bf skinner is based upon the idea that learning is a function of change in overt behavior. Changes in behavior are the result of an individual response to event or stimuli that occur in the environment. Sabi nga nila, no, kailan mo masasabi na may learning sa isang tao kapag merong change no, sa kanyang behavior. Okay? And uh, saan nanggaling yung change na yan? Ang change daw na yan ay resulta ng um, interaction ng tao sa kanyang kapaligiran. Okay? Yung responses niya sa kanyang 
environment. According to this principle, the operant conditioning, behavior that is followed by pleasant consequences is likely to be repeated and behavior followed by unpleasant consequences is less likely to be repeated. Skinner introduced a new term into the law of effect and he called it reinforcement. So behavior which is reinforced tends to be repeated or strengthened and behavior which is not reinforced tends to die out or be extinguished or weakened. Skinner identified three types of responses or operant that can follow. Okay, ang tawag ni Skinner doon sa mga responses, okay, due to reinforcements, okay, ang tawag niya dyan ay operant responses, okay? So, meron tayong tatlo. There are three types of responses. Okay, number one, we have neutral operants. These are responses from the environment that neither increase nor decrease the probability of a behavior being repeated. Or another type of response is reinforcer or reinforcers. These are responses from the environment that increase the probability of a behavior being repeated. So reinforcers can be either positive or negative reinforcers. Okay? So punishers naman, responses from the environment that decrease the likelihood of a behavior being repeated, punishment weakens behavior. Okay? Positive reinforcement is a term described by B.F. Skinner in his theory of operant conditioning. In positive reinforcement, a response or behavior is strengthened no, by giving rewards, leading to the repetition of a desired behavior, and the reward is a reinforcing stimulus. Okay, so kung gusto mo daw na i-repeat ng tao, ang behavior na yan, bibigyan mo siya, kailangan mo siya bigyan ng reward after niyang ginawa ang behavior na yun. For example, if when you were younger, you tried smoking at school and the chief consequences was that you got in with the crowd, no? naging sikat ka sa mga peer group mo because you were smoking, you always wanted to hang out with, no? naging sikat ka sa kanila, you would have been positive reinforced or rewarded and would be likely to repeat the behavior. Okay, so if, however, the main consequences was that you were caught, can suspended from school and your parents became involved, you would most certainly have been punished and you would consequently be much less likely to smoke now. Okay, so I hope you understand that concept through this example. So this is the Skinner's box. Okay, Skinner's studied operant conditioning by conducting experiments using animals which he placed in a Skinner box, which was similar to Thorndike's puzzle box. So you can see inside the Skinner box is a mouse. No? A Skinner box, also known as an operant conditioning chamber. I repeat, the Skinner box is also known as an operant conditioning chamber. Is a device used to objectively record an animal's behavior in a compressed time frame. An animal can be rewarded or punished for engaging in certain behaviors 
such as lever pressing for rats or key pecking for pigeons. A Skinner box, also known as an operant conditioning chamber, is an enclosed apparatus that contains a bar or key that an animal can press or manipulate in order to obtain food or water as type of reinforcement. Ano naman yung negative reinforcement? Negative reinforcement is the termination of an unpleasant state following a response. This is known as negative reinforcement because it is the removal of an adverse stimulus which is rewarding to the animal or person. Negative reinforcement strengthens behavior because it stops or removes an unpleasant experience. Ano naman ang punishment? Punishment weakens behavior. Okay, i-clarify ko lang. No? Punishment is different from negative reinforcement. Punishment is defined as the opposite of reinforcement since it is designed to weaken. No? Hindi niya ini-strengthen yung response. So if you can see here sa dalawa, okay, so here sa negative reinforcement, strengthens behavior because it stops or removes an unpleasant experience. Okay, so dito naman sa positive reinforcement, okay, then strengthening din siya, no? It strengthened behavior by giving the person reward. Okay, but however, no, punishment can work either by directly applying, no? An unpleasant stimulus like a shock, shock after a response or by removing a potentially rewarding stimulus. For instance, deducting someone's pocket money no, to punish undesirable behavior. There are many problems with using punishment, however, no, such as punish behavior is not forgotten. It suppresses behavior returns when punishment is no longer present. No? Causes increased aggression, shows that aggression is a way to cope with problems. It creates fear that can generalize to understand. It creates fear no, that can generalize to undesirable behaviors. Does not necessarily guide toward desired behavior. Reinforcement tells you what to do. Punishment only tells you what not to do. So that's it for now. I hope you learned something from our topic for today please like share comment subscribe and click the notification bell for more videos in the future bye